Hello and welcome to Hyphenate Tutorials. Today we are going to see how to create Lay or Java objects by using Hyphenate Reverse Engineering. For that, first of all, we need to start our MySQL service. So, the same package and Apache and MySQL. So both these services are going to start with. And uh, MySQL has this 3306 port number which we are going to use by connecting to the database by using MySQL dialect hypernet. So once the service has been started, I am just open the browser. Local host So here you can see the graphical user interface for MySQL. And so I click on the database and then create a new database and that's company. And the company database has been created. Now the employee table has been created with that four points. Let's give first column as an ID, which would be which would be auto implemented primary. Second will be the name, which would be var character, size would be 20, and it can allow null also. So our employee table is created in the company database. Now the second thing, I need to download this form. So first thing you can see a Java to S and this MySQL JDBC driver. So you are here and find the browser zip file. You can download it. Once it is downloaded, and you need to go to your NetBeans, and here you can find the services. In the services, well, you will have this database, and in the database, we will the existing connection, and here in the driver section, you will find the MySQL. And just right click on it, customize and add downloaded Java. Form.magic.jdbc by latest version. Just up. And right click on it after just adding over here new connection. You can find the same. And next, so I need to select the magic. Here you will find the database name and the company. So the password will be you have to just test the connection. Connection successful. Finish it. 
Okay, so I will say next shot. Copy or copy this. Yes. Copy this connection you are. Now in the project, create a new dynamic project, which I want it. Next, here you can use the automatic S and in the next tab. Here you can find the hyperlink four point three point one, and I can select the database which I have already created connection in this service tab. Once I select the company database, I just click on the finish. Test application has been created here, and here you can find in the source packages default package. I've a configuration file, it has all the information. You can click on the source, and you can find all the information which we have given at the time of adding this hypernet framework. So, the next step would be of creating. In the local libraries also we need to add that jar file this form.mysql so when we upload this on the server it will be available in the li library of this project and the next step would be our reverse engineering file making using hyperlink so i just need to right click new other and here can find in Hibernate, you can find this Hibernate reverse engineering. Click on the next. Here we need to provide the folder and source and chart. Select the folder, click on the next. And here you can find Hibernate configuration file. It is reading information from this file. And as we have created in the one table, it is showing one table. If you have more than one table, you can see one. And I'll just click on this add or add on. Click on this page. So now it has created a revenge file from me that is nothing but reverse engineering file. And it is mapped with the employee table of the company database. So here I have a database company and employee table. So when I go to project I can find this on the same parallel path of this hypernet configuration now the next step will be I need to create a bojo class so in the other hypernet I can find hypernet mapping files and bojos from the database as we have already created this hypernet configuration and revenge file I can use the same for creating a Bojo process. So here I need to provide the configuration file name which Hibernate framework has created for us and revenge file which we have created after adding this configuration file. The package name I need to provide some package name like I said model. And if I click finish, so it has created a model package for me. And here you can find the employee with the, all the fields which we had added for the So in the structure you can find the same integer ID, string name that would be varchar in the database, date DOB as we have selected date time and floor salary would be the same. So that
that's how you can create the Pojo classes by using Hypernet Reverse Engineering Python. So that's all for now. Thank you for watching.